Hi, I'm Raquel Stetcher from the blog Out of the Past, and I'm here to talk about my favorite classic movies that I own. So I'm going to talk about five classic movies that are my top favorites, one contemporary classic that I really love, and then I have a stack of other DVDs and Blu-rays that I own and I absolutely love that I'll just go through really quickly. So the first one I should talk about is Out of the Past because that's the name of my blog. Out of the Past from 1947. Um, this is the Blu-ray that came out um, a couple of years ago from the Warner Archive Collection and it's exquisite. I also own the Film Noir Classic Collection. This is the first classic movie purchase I ever made and Out of the Past is in there. So I have a DVD and Blu-ray copy of it. Um, this is the film that started it all for me in terms of classic movies. I watched it in college. Um, I took a film course and I was amazed by this movie. I was enchanted by it. I didn't really think very much about classic movies. It wasn't really something that I dived into. And when I watched this, I was like, wow, classic movies can be dark and sexy and intriguing and complicated. And I watched this movie and I was like, who are these people? Who is Robert Mitchum? Who is Kirk Douglas? Who is Jane Greer? Um, I want to watch this movie over again so I can make sense of it. And ever since then, I watched that years, years ago. Ever since, I'm still entranced by this movie. So this is the movie that started it all and it's just always in my top five. It's never dropped out. Now my number one favorite movie though, everyone knows this, is Bachelor Mother. I just adore this movie. And I have a lot of copies of Bachelor Mother. In fact, one of my favorite things to do with Bachelor Mother is buy extra copies from the Warner Archive Collection in their 4 for 44 sale. And then what I'll do is I'll send them out to friends who don't own them. It's kind of like my goodwill mission is to get Bachelor Mother in the hands of as many people as possible. Also giving it away on my blog and maybe I'll do it again too. So I always have extra copies of Bachelor Mother and on my blog I actually have a um, blog post about owning Bachelor Mother over the years. Like the first time I watched it, um, I watched it on TCM and they were showing a bunch of Bachelor movies like Bachelor Mother, Bachelor Father, Bachelor in Paradise. And I watched this movie and I couldn't believe my luck. This is such a sweet movie. It's it's a comedy, it's just lighthearted, but it, it deals with some serious issues and it kind of, um, it's kind of a movie about a single mother, but because this is in the era of the Hayes Code, they kind of switch things up a bit. So everyone thinks she's a single mother and that she had this illegitimate child, but in reality we know it's just a child that she picked up on, a, on the doorstep of an orphanage, it's not really hers. Um, and it's got a great cast, uh, uh, Ginger Rogers, David Niven, the baby is El um, Elbert um, Copeland Jr. And um, also Charles Coburn is in it too, he's really funny. And it's just, it's just a very sweet movie. It's perfect to watch around Christmas because Christmas is involved in it, but it's the best New Year's movie. It is the best New Year's movie, especially since New Year's um, it depicts a point in which um, the two main characters have a fresh new start on life. So highly recommend this one. And then The Women, which is just one of everybody's favorites, favorite movies. This also came out in 1939, like Bachelor Mother, which was a great year for films. Amazing cast, Norma Shearer, Rosalind Mar Russell, Joan Crawford, Paulette Goddard, Marjorie Maine. It's all women and it's just rapid fire wit. Like you can watch it and miss a bunch of jokes and have to watch it again to catch them. Um, you'll blink and you'll miss something. That's how quick, quick pace it is. It's catty, it's fun. Um, it's, just, it's just like the best movie. It's just, every time it's on TCM, I have to stop and watch even though I own a copy of it. Um, and this is the film that made me fall in love with Norma Shear, for sure. And this is also one of the oldest DVDs I own in my collection. I think shortly after buying the um, DVD set of all those film noirs, I bought The Women. For most of these, I actually have multiple copies because I'll 
own the DVD and then upgrade to Blu-ray or someone will send me the Blu-ray Blu um, as a present or something to review. Um, the next one is Ocean's Eleven, which I actually have two copies of. Um, the, this is the DVD version, which was my husband's, in my husband's Ocean's Eleven set. And he told me, Raquel, you have to watch this movie because it's got the best ending. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I watched the Ocean's Eleven remake and I was like, well, it's okay. Um, and he's like, no, you have to watch it. It's got the best ending. So he showed me the ending and I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's basically the Rat Pack and all the other members of, the, of Ocean's Eleven, except for one, sorry, spoiler alert, walking down um, LA, oh, sorry, LA, Las Vegas, and the sign comes up and you see the names of the Rat Packers who are in the movie because while they were filming it, they were also in Las Vegas performing. So this is just, this is the ultimate Rat Pack movie. They made a few movies, but this one is really the best one. And this is like a time travel trip to 1960s Las Vegas. It's just so much fun. It's also a New Year's movie, and New Year's is my favorite holiday, so it's just fun to watch this around that time of year. And it's endlessly watchable. And it's also the film that made me fall in love with Akeem Tamirov, because he is hilarious. He plays um, Asibos, and he's the, um, he's like the main criminal financier of the project, and he kind of, over he doesn't actually participate, he just kind of, funds it and oversees it and Frank Sinatra's character, Danny Ocean, just drives him crazy. It's just oh, it's just one of my favorite movies. And my husband got me the Blu-ray. In fact he he hid it in my lunchbox and I put my lunchbox <laughs> in my um in the refrigerator at work and then I realized when I went to go get my lunch that there was a really cold Blu-ray inside. <laughs> so that was really funny. And the next one is also um, a Frank Sinatra movie, Tony Rome, and I have two copies of it. This is the DVD, and this is the dual Blu-ray with um, Lady in Cement, which also features the Tony Rome character. And this is just a really fun, um, just mystery. It's a, uh, it's a sort of like a. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's not a murder mystery, but it's just, it becomes a murder mystery after all. It's just a mystery about this, this detective who um, lives in Miami and he, um, he's kind of down on his luck and he's like a gambler, but he gets kind of side jobs and he helps one of his, um, his ex-partner out a bit to, because there's this woman who's drunk um, at this motel and they're trying to kind of get rid of her, but then they realize later that someone stole a very expensive pin. So her family hires him to figure it out. And Jill St. John is there as his love interest. And it's just like a really hip, cool movie. And if Ocean's Eleven is like a time travel trip to Las Vegas, this one is a time travel trip to, to, um, to Miami and to, um, actually I don't even think it's Miami. I think it's like, it's somewhere else. Oh no, it is, it is Miami and it's a couple other parts of Florida. But it's just, it's a fun movie. It's not the best movie ever, but it's one of my favorites and I watch it over and over and over again. Now for my contemporary classic, I've got You've Got Mail. Um, I watched this when it came out in the theaters in 1998 and I, I'm a book person and this movie cemented that I had to work in the book industry. And I've been working in the book industry since 1998. Um, so that's, it'll be 20 years in September that I've been working in the book industry. I work for a children's book publisher. Um, Meg Ryan's character runs a children's bookstore. Um, Tom Hanks' character runs um, a big box chain of um, bookstores. And this is one of those awesome like they hate each other first and then they love each other later kind of stories and you kind of follow along as they really really hate each other but then these they slowly start to realize that you know they do they do really care about each other and they have some in like some common interests it's just a sweet movie and there's so it's so imbued with new york city um so it's just a wonderful tribute to the city and it's a tribute to the book 
world and it's a tribute to romance. It's wonderful. In fact, I even took a trip with my mother to New York City and we stayed on the Upper West Side and we went to all the spots in the movie. That was a lot of fun. And my husband got me the, the Blu-ray set recently. So now I have both, although I, I'm not gonna be able to give up the, the DVD because I've had this forever. Oh, I've had this forever. I don't even, probably got it when it came out. I think I actually owned the VHS <laughs> tape too. And I own both the soundtrack and the score. Um, so I've owned everything. And you know what also, this movie introduced me to a lot of music. It introduced me to Louis Armstrong and Bobby Darin and a lot of like older, older hits. Um, so that was really a good segue into, into appreciating different types of music. Now for the rest, I have a stack of movies. I'm not going to really go into each one. I'm just going to show you which ones and just talk about them very briefly. Some have cases, actually all of them have cases except for this one, which is Lonesome. It's, this is like one of the sweetest movies ever. You have to watch this if you haven't already. Singing in the Rain. DOA, which is a wonderful film noir. Keep Your Powder Dry, which is an awesome uh, World War II movie featuring my favorite actress, Susan Peters. It's right there. Father of the Bride, which I watched like a million times before I got married. Such a great movie. And my favorite actor is Robert Mitchum. So I, I love Friends of Eddie Coyle, which was shot in Boston, where I live. I love Fritz Lang movies, and this is one of my favorites, Fury starring um, Sylvia Sidney and Spencer Tracy. And um, I wrote about this for um, the National Film Registry and there's an article there that you can check out. A Patch of Blue, which is like one of the most romantic movies ever with Sidney Poitier um, and Elizabeth Hartman. This was her first movie ever. And then Shelley Winters, she plays like the, e the most evil mom ever. And I think she won an Oscar for that or she was nominated. Good News, which is one of my absolute favorite musicals. I love the songs in this movie. Rear Window, which is my favorite Alfred Hitchcock film. I can watch this over and over and over and over again. And there's Pillow Talk, and I have two copies of Pillow Talk. Because this copy, oh, I have this copy I've owned forever, this DVD copy, and it is not very good quality. Um, so when the Blu-ray set came out, I was like, well, I have to upgrade because it's, this, this was just so bad that I needed to, to upgrade. The quality improves a little bit, but not all that much. But still, it's just Doris Day and Rock Hudson together and Tony Randall, and this is just the ultimate sex comedy. It's just so good. Then there are the Nancy Drew movies with Bonita Granville. This is a three, um, I think we know, four. Four movie set, yes. And um, I love, this made me fall in love with Bonita Granville. And these movies are just so cute. They're just, this is one of those rainy day sets where I'll just, like on a weekend, I don't really have much to do. The weather outside is gross and I just wanna sit inside and like just marathon some movies. Usually do it with this. Christmas in Connecticut. I love this movie so much. Um, just a, like a great cast. Uh, Dennis Morgan, Barbara Stanwyck. Um, it made me fall in love with Dennis Morgan for sure. And this movie I watch every single year around Christmas. It's just one of those feel good movies. It's, um, oh, as Ziza Call too. Oh my God, he's so adorable in this movie. And Uno O'Connor's in it too. Um, they're kind of like a yin yang a little bit. Um, just, oh, it's just such a sweet, fun movie. Everyone I know who's seen it loves it. Every year I have to watch it. Another holiday movie I have to watch every year, Holiday Affair, Robert Mitchum. Oops, there he is. And then um, Janet Lee, Wendell Corey, poor Wendell Corey in this movie. So this, oh my goodness. I have to watch this every year for Christmas. It's just, and also there's not that many um, romantic comedies that Robert Mitchum made, so you gotta enjoy the ones that there are. 
Yours, Mine, and Ours, the original version. This one is so sweet and I, um, I watch this every time I feel overwhelmed. If I feel overwhelmed in life, I'll watch this and I'm like, at least I don't have this many children. <laughs> And then now Voyager. In fact, I actually watched this in the theater um, seven years ago and some people were laughing at it and I left because I'm like, no way. No way that someone's going to ruin my movie. Absolutely not. I love this one. Well, that's it. That's all my classic movies that I love. I mean, I have a million more. My collection is huge. I'd like to do a video of my whole entire collection, but that would take like an hour. It's, it's massive and I don't even know where most of the films are. But um, I hope you liked this video and let me know in the comment section below which of the ones that I showed you that you liked. And if you have any other ideas for more videos, let me know. Thanks. Bye.